basically what relative strength allows you to do, what ROC allows you to do, is to compare one thing with another. One thing with another. Or a group of companies against one benchmark, for example, an index. Perhaps all the industry sectors against one benchmark, be it the general market index. That's what the idea of relative strength. Metastock allows you to do just what I've explained there. It allows you to conduct a sector analysis. It allows you to rank the sectors from 1 through to 12. It allows you to then go a step further, identify the best sector, then rank all the companies within that sector and identify the best companies from 1 to X. So Metastock allows you to do that. And what we're going to go through now is basic terms what relative strength is, but then how Metastock allows you to conduct a relative strength comparative exploration. In your uh, booklet, in the, the bound booklet, after the exercise sheet, not that I ask you to look through it now, but you've actually got about four or five pages explaining the concept and what I'm about to explain to you now. And all the formulas we show you now are all within the booklet for you to take home and put into your own Metastock. Okay? So as I said before, it's basically a comparison. Now here's the interesting problem. How do we compare a $4 company with an index that's value maybe 4000 How do we do that? For example, the ratio that we're looking at, the relative strength, is to compare one with another. So if we looked at our $4 company and compared that with our $4,000 index, the relationship would be 1 to 1,000, or 0 0.001. 0 0.0001. Um, but how do we, you know, what does that mean? Does that mean the index is 1,000 times stronger um, stronger than the particular stock. doesn't mean that at all. So the important thing is not the number itself, not the relationship itself, but where the relationship has been in the past. Does that make sense? Let's just go and have a look at Metastock for, for a second and we'll get out of the exploration. What we'll do is we'll go to a new chart. Let's just open up a new chart and perhaps we'll open up a chart of um, Telstra, for example. <coughs> 